you've never been a coach who claims moral victories or anything, but you play a top 10 team in South in Central Florida pretty tough for most of the game. Um, final score, was the final score of 4 nothing reflective of the way you saw the game played? Um, you know, look, we, we could have or should have scored a couple, maybe. Um, but they certainly could have scored more too, you know. So I don't know if it's they deserve to win. They, I don't think we can we can argue that. I do know that at one nil looked like we had one that went in the goal, um, and we had one called back. And I think you know, if either of those count or if both of them count, maybe the game ends up different. I don't know. Certainly, they had more they had more chances to score in the first half as well. UCF hit the crossbar three times in the first half, so you went into the intermission with a one goal game. Right. What did you and your team talk about at halftime? Yeah, I mean, certainly we the first thing we did was thank the crossbar, you know, because the crossbar saved us in a couple of times in the first half, and um, you know we knew we were still in the game, you know, and, and I thought we came out in the second half and 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 played per, played pretty well, and and again created a couple of chances and. Uh, you know, but again, the bottom line becomes we get four goals, and it's hard to win when you get four. You mentioned the chances to tie or even take the lead. Uh, Catherine Heron had a header off a corner that sure looked like it was in. I guess it hit a goal post or a defender. And then Haley Bishop did tuck one in and was whistled for a foul when she collided with the goalie. When you have chances that are that close, for an equalizing goal against a team as good as UCF. Is that encouraging to the players or is that kind of deflating? Or maybe a little um, both? Yeah, it's interesting, I think. The, the thing is, when you play a team like that, you're not gonna get a lot of those chances, you know? And when you get them, you gotta score them, you know? And, and we didn't, we had one in the first half as well with Blair one on one with the goalkeeper. And, you know, you just, we had three or four good goal scoring chances in the game and, and we gotta score them, you know? And when you don't, it becomes really difficult. Your team seemed to play much more offensively in the second half. Was there something schematically that you altered, or was it just that's the chances that unfolded and they took what was there in the UCF defense? Yeah, I mean, I do think it was kind of a tactical game. You know, they, they were doing some things as they came forward. We were trying to do some things as we came forward, and and uh, I think we, we were able to expose a couple of things, but we weren't able to finish, you know. And, and again, like, the, game, the, game, the game's about who scores, you know, not who passes the ball as much or you know looks good or anything like that it's about who scores and they didn't we didn't now you get to erase this and you get to head sort of back to your old stomping grounds you go up to connecticut and then temple um what do you want to clean up and tweak between now and the trip well look it's like i said the other night we, we got to stop giving up goals and if we don't stop giving up goals we're not gonna win another game you know so we have to find a way to, to stop the bleeding 